happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah today we got another huge update you guys could probably already tell it is going down just by that title alone you're definitely gonna want to see this one guys you know what they say when it rains it pours and we're truly seeing it pour down on Kamala Harris, her entire campaign, especially after they received huge news following that failed campaign. Guys, I'm excited to get into it. So hop straight into it. Just make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Before we even get into it, you guys, hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button for your boy. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it, y'all. Check this one out. Action where Kamala Harris donors have spent a billion dollars in this election and received the chicken nugget of elections. Wow. Not much meat on the bone here. Kamala Harris lost in a landslide, electoral college loss, popular vote loss, which hasn't happened in decades, and lost all seven swing states, so um, money not well spent. But where did Kamala Harris spend her money? Kamala campaign election eve concerts said to cost up to $20 million as staff vendors fear they won't be paid. Oh no. <laughs> So you bring in these aging, dumpy, irrelevant artists, Lady Gaga having, of course, the worst movie of the year, fresh off Joker, full adieu. You live, you learn, finger pointing has erupted at a Kamala Harris campaign blowing $20 million on a swing state concert tour Monday night, hours before the VP's spectacular election loss, prompting concern that staff and vendors will not get paid. Members of the uh, defeated Harris team tell the Post that the concerts had ruinous effect on Democrat campaign's coffers, and in fact, uh, was no secret. They planned, who, with one planned performance by a 90s rock goddess, Atlantis Morissette getting scrapped to save money. The seven swing state concerts on election eve featured performances by Bon Jovi, Christina Aguilera, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, two chains, and they were all paid. They were all paid. Yeah. Do you hear this? It's all paid. None of it's real. It's all paid. They're not real. Nobody's actually authentically, nobody authentically supports Kamala Harris. All you Satanists, junkies, druggies, and demons. And that's the thing, guys, when they keep saying, you know, this whole Taylor Swift, Beyonce, guys, that's, that's why it did not end up making a difference. You know, they're all paid ball for these celebrities can say, you know, endorse whoever they want, support them in the public. But at the end of the day, guys, they get to go back and live in their, you know, cushy little celebrity bubble. And none of this true, none of this truly affects them like it affects us, guys. And that's why we've seen the turnout we did because folks know they can see through it. Kamala Harris, all you Satanists junkies, druggies, and demons. Look at this. It's so embarrassing. My God, what happened to Lady Gaga? <laughs> what happened to Lady Gaga? Oh, no! I didn't even know that what was her. What the hell? What's going on? Ooh. Oh, man. Somebody comments to me made about this. The Democrat Party is in shambles and chaos right now. Everybody is blaming each other. It's incredible. There's this uh, dude... Who was uh, the who is the chairman of the Democrat Party in Philadelphia, and he's straight up saying like you blew all of our money on these stupid concerts and you didn't spend any money on getting out the vote. Despite raising over one billion dollar, Kamala Harris ends campaign with twenty million dollars in debt, according to Politico. Twenty million dollars in debt. Kamala Harris raised a billion dollars for her campaign. So yeah, she's. A you would think she. It says Kamala Harris raised a billion dollars. Um, campaign money. I mean, you would have thought she would have, you know, used some of that money to get some decent campaign staffers. I mean, it just doesn't make sense what the lack thereof, her campaign staff, the way they let her get up there and just make a fool of herself um, at almost every event and rally was insane to me. And you're telling me she raised that much money? That's wild. That's bizarre, guys. Not going to fix the economy. <laughs> it's nuts. Kamala Harris campaign raised a billion dollars, spent it all on paying celebrities for concerts. They lost, and now they're trying to sell their data list to pay off the $20 million debt. And this was how Kamala Harris was planning on fixing the economy. This is the lady that said she's got to fix the economy. Hire me to fix the thing I broke. She ends $20 million in debt in historic fashion. This is exactly the kind of money management we did not need anywhere near the White House. This is exactly right. Kamala after spending a billion dollars, realizing that the campaign is a massive pyramid scheme. That's exactly right. 
for all the Democrats and people who voted for Kamala Harris, uh, Kamala Harris and her team are $20 million in debt after raising a billion dollars loss in a landslide. Yeah. If you weren't sure Kamala Harris was a rabid spend until we have no more money left, Democrat, well, go ahead and look at what she did. She spent a billion dollars yeah. and she's now $20 million in debt. Kamala spent a billion bucks of other people's money and still ended up in debt. She is a well-trained Democrat. <laughs> now, how well did these concerts go for Kamala Harris? Not well. Uh, they paid Beyonce for an endorsement. She didn't even perform. Apparently, they couldn't afford it. Uh, there were <laughs> riots at the Beyonce concert because they lied to their fans, telling them they'd get a free Beyonce concert. Beyonce went out and spoke for two minutes and then left. Wow. Uh, what else did they pay for? Here, ladies and gentlemen, is the quality of the music that you could find at a Kamala Harris concert. Yes, we'll rally round the flag, y'all. We'll rally once again. <laughs> Shout in the oh, battle man. cry of free. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Bro, why, why do I feel so? I feel like that was something I was not supposed to. I feel like that was that was supposed to be done in private, guys. We were not. That was so uncomfortable to watch. What are what is she paying and wasting donor money on? Just doesn't make sense, guys. Man. Oh, uh, uh, I can't take it anymore. I am so happy I never have to hear the cringe cackle. I never have to hear clips of the concerts. My Kamala goodness. campaign spent dollars on ads, but also $3.9 million for an influencer recruitment agency. Well, look at that. $4 million bucks on buying online influence. We supported Donald Trump for free. So did everybody else who supported Donald Trump. Donald Trump didn't pay a single influencer anything. Didn't pay Joe Rogan anything. Didn't pay Theo Vaughn anything. No podcasters got paid. But you know what? They did pay $100,000 to build a set for Call Her Daddy. Can you believe that? $100,000? That's insane. Payment to a private jet company. This set. This I was gonna, I was gonna say, guys, the set was very minimalistic. There is nothing there. You're telling me they couldn't just? Oh my goodness, they fleeced. They literally fleeced Kamala. I, I, I'm, I'm catching on to it now. All these influencers, celebrities, you know, paid endorsements. They ran off with the bag, guys. Oh my goodness, a hundred thousand dollars went to this. Someone pocketed it at least at least 95 because I'm going to, there's, I don't even see you spending five grand on this right here. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. That's insane. Payment to a private jet company. This set, this garbage set, our set looks way better. We spent exactly $100 on building our set. Right. This like, <laughs> trash set cost $100,000. Can you believe this? No, it didn't. They built this set. No. For her call her daddy. This is the set in question. I refuse to believe it. This isn't amazing. Uh, the $1 billion, part of it went to spend six figures on building a set for Harris's appearance on the popular Call Her Daddy podcast. Why didn't you just go to the podcast? Why didn't you just go to the podcast? And the craziest part about it all is that whole little episode. It, it bombed. They bombed it. Like, it, it didn't do well. Um, I'm pretty sure the numbers are still. I got to look it up, guys. I'll look it up after this, but I'm pretty sure. I will look it up now. I'm pretty sure the numbers on that, it didn't even do well. Um, I, I can't believe $100,000 is crazy. Is that her? Yeah. Let me see. 844000 It doesn't even do a million. I got to see Donald Trump. Uh, Joe Rogan. I gotta get the full. Uh, oh shoot, my bad, y'all. Worst typer. Forty-eight million guys. You're telling me she doesn't even? That's what I'm saying. The numbers didn't even make sense for that to be a hundred thousand dollar. Like how? Like location. Like Donald Trump did with Joe Rogan. Oh, we know exactly why. How? Donald spent six figures on building the set for her appearance on Call Her Daddy. How Kamala plowed through one billion dollars. Dude, and they were going to like let they were going to let this woman run the greatest economy in the world. Nope, we stopped it. And you're welcome, America. Can you believe that? Jeez, Kamala spent six figures just lighting money on 
fire for what? For Literally. This. this is what you got out of your billion dollars. Effective campaign here by the Harris team. And then he said that that Philadelphia concert on the eve of the election was a total waste of money. I got more complaints including my daughter-in-law. Traffic jam after traffic jam. You couldn't get out. So what happens? They're mad. What, what, what? And why is this happening? Because of a concert that she showed up at 1130 at night? Give me a... I love Philly. It's something about when you get a Philly native ticked off, man. The accent, <clears throat> excuse me, along with just the attitude. Oh, my goodness. It just, it, it does something to me. Listen, it's like the traffic. It brought the traffic. That's all it did. <laughs> traffic jam after traffic jam. You couldn't get out. So what happens? They're He's mad. Serious. What, what, what? And why is this happening? Because of a concert that she showed up at 1130 at night? Give me a break. Do you think it changed anybody's mind or it doesn't look like it does it, it the, the, the outcome didn't show it i would think probably most of them people weren't even from the city of philadelphia yo there we have it guys that one coming from our friend benny johnson i'll definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below for those who want to go over there check that full thing out also you guys to go over there show our friend benny johnson tons of love and support man he's a solid dude oh my goodness guys what did i say when it rains it truly does pour and we're seeing it pour down on Kamala Harris's campaign none of that paid support we've seen the turnout guys the paid support all the wasted donor money is now coming back to haunt her I mean come on you guys a billion dollars we're talking a billion dollars and campaign finance is just gone and you're in debt 20 million I mean it just does not make sense but when you see her wasting money a hundred thousand dollars on a, a flopped podcast that couldn't even do a million views. Donald Trump spends zero dollars, goes to a man set, you know, where he usually records, doesn't spend any extra money, and, and it does 48 million views. I mean, come on, you guys. That right there is the difference, and that's why we've seen the turnout we did. Guys, definitely hop in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you'd enjoy more content like this, catch you guys on the next one. We got it.